Well, talking of scenes, like LA, to me, you, you, um, your image is the quintessential sort of LA image, and yet you've, I, I, I remember you saying that you weren't that enamoured with the whole LA scene. It was sort of like a, a concrete jungle ready to fall into the ocean. Well, it's, it's sort of like, I, I, I used to defend Los Angeles, yeah. and, and it's just gotten so heavy over there that it's become, it's really, it's like one of those Italian movies that you, that you rent, like after the war, you know, when everybody sort of takes over the streets, yeah. <laughs> you know, those really bad sea movies. Bad? It's like that. Now, that's the way I, I, I kind of look at it. It's all sort of a war zone. Yeah. And uh, if there's any place in the world that should legalize guns, it's L.A. Really? Just so you can defend yourself. Just so you can, you can stay alive. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the album. Well, let's not talk about the album. No, let's talk about the comic. Okay. Let's talk about it's, the... Uh, it's virtually the same thing. It's virtually the same cover. This is temptation. the best comic book you'll ever hear. Really? Really? Just put it on. <laughs> it's pushing the envelope. Tell me a bit about it. Is, is this your concept? Seems like a bit of a baby of yours. Yeah, it is. I really uh, I wanted to do something that was a storyline. I wanted to do something that was going to be not just another rock and roll album, but something that was going to be, go down as one of my classics. And, uh, it, you know, I'd written about things that are sort of intangible. Those are the things that really work for me. Uh, nightmares, insanity, temptation. You know, yeah. these things are things you can't put your hand on, but you know they're there. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the few artists to really make, make a success out of that scariest of all things, the concept album. Yes. And they uh, really, uh, oh, really when, have made it an awful. When people say concept, it's always with big dripping green letters, because yeah. people hate concept albums. Yeah. But I think it's more than a concept. I think you have to, usually bands put together, they write an album, 12 songs. They find one little strand that hooks the songs together, and they go, we have a concept, you know? But that's not a, what a concept is. You have to come up with a story first. You have to write a great story, I think. And then you have to write the music to that great story without giving up the story. You have to, you have to stay right to it. You know? And then the comic book comes after that. A concept to me is like a multimedia project, not just one level. You have to take it a lot of different levels. And then, of course, you've got to go on every single show on radio and television. Which you have done. I've I mean, talked to how every has it human. Been? It's been unbelievable. Every time I turn on the TV, yeah. radio, there you are. Yeah. You know, that guy, that guy over there, I haven't talked to him yet. Which guy? Album, Sorry. That guy right there. Haven't you talked But I'll probably have an interview with him later. Have you noticed the yeah. application? The guy is still working, hasn't blinked, hasn't even looked at Alice Cooper. I'm going to keep working. I care. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alice. But we, our interview's later. We'll yeah, talk. Yeah, we haven't started yet. <laughs> right now, it's, uh, it's called It's Me. This is uh, the second single from the Alice album. Thank you very much for Thank your time. Thank you. And Thank your trouble. You. And I love the cover. I think Do it's you? really it's great. Tremendous. It's tremendous. It kind of reminds me of Van Halen a little bit. Does it? You know. Does it? Doesn't remind me of that yeah. at all. But anyway.